badass is big cats. Let's just say a cat who sounds like this isn't a badass. Okay, we got it. First of all, cheetahs are a lot are a lot weaker than other big cats like leopards, tigers, lions, and even cougars. Sure, they have keen eyes. Said Z. I mean, <laughs> not zebras. I'm thinking about a uh, cheetah hunting a zebra. Uh, cheetahs are first off of their diurnal. Most big cats are nocturnal, preferring to hunt during the night rather than the day. And cheetahs are so weak they have to cosplay as honey badgers just not to, just not to get harassed by other animals. And you might be like, well at least cheetahs have speed. Yeah, they can run up they can run up there they can accelerate to zero to fifty nine kilometers, but they cannot maintain this long speed speed for long. Nothing on earth can outrun a cheetah. There are birds that can fly faster. I feel like birds get all the lorry in life, get all like the jewelry and all the good luck in life, while other animals, I mean, think about it, they can fly, fly, and owls, they can make sounds. So that means an owl can be behind me, and I would never know it. And a leopard can run half the speed of it as a cheetah. And cheetahs aren't even big cats. They're not even big cats. They're part of the Asinonix genus with the cougar, serval cat, margay cat, and also with the, what else cats can't roar? Snow leopard. Yeah, they belong to the purring cats and so do not roar like other big cats do. And I'm surprised they can take down an ostrich being not even being that bigger than an ostrich. Okay, let's just say cougars are crackheads. They'll try to take an animal like three times their own weight class. Guanacos are wild. Guanacos are related to camels, llamas, and llamas extended from wild guanacos, and cougars will hunt them. Let's just say a cougar wouldn't attack you unless you were stupid enough or dumb enough to target its cubs or get too close to its cubs. So this guy got too close to a cub and paid the price. And like cheetahs, the cougar cannot roar like other big cats do. So it said it purrs like as it like as like it was a cat a house cat but it's not also guanaco guanacos are strictly herbivorous and they laugh in the face of death but unlike cheetahs cougars weren't used for hunting the way cheetahs the way cheetahs were in fact cheetahs had the name hunting leopard and basically cougar didn't have the name hunting cougar i don't even know if people use cougars for hunting I mean, they probably don't use, they probably don't use cougars for hunting, which is understandable, so the cougar isn't a badass, so, yeah, it's not, it can, it can purr like the cheetah, so they're basically the same. The real badass of the jungle is the jaguar. Jaguars regularly go into the water and slap caiman. In fact, jaguars will jump in. For many years, caiman had been the apex predator until jaguars were born and decided to make their life a living misery, starting off by by dropping into the water and piercing its head with their sharp canine's teeth. This followed a large, huge female jaguar in Brazil who caught a caiman and pounced. Of course, it was like Charles Charles pay for her to kill the smaller rep reptilian creature. Sorry about that. I had to charge my phone because it was about to go dead. A leopard wouldn't dare stalk a baboon in a broad daylight because baboon do, they give these piercing sounds piercing sounds to alert other pre to alert other herbivorous mammals that are carnivorous animals about to come by and have its lunch komodo dragons are ravenous creature so our locals call them aura aura or land crocodile these two komodo dragons can be seen tearing flesh from an unlucky deer that crossed the path. The deer already has its wound and its sealed is about to be fed. It's about to be fed to these gigantic lither to these gigantic lithers, providing sustenance for the big creatures. The deer tries to get away, but but the weight of it cannot buckle. The Komodo dragons are just like chilling until one of them goes up. Komodo dragons have forked snake-like tongues that they use to inject venom into larger prey such as water buffaloes and deer. Deer. They are part of being the badasses of the jungle. 
one Komodo dragon goes in for the deer's for the deer's belly and starts eating it. The deer tries to get away, but but it's not gonna happen. Happen. The Komodo dragon is ravenous and keeps trying to tear apart flesh from the unlucky deer. It's safe to say that they will not leave their prey alone until it is dead. It digs in and starts eating the flesh of the unlucky deer. The deer is in pain and and it and its best guess is just to just die from blood loss and boys and poison from the Komodo dragon's mouth. Also, slight fact, Komodo dragons aren't real fire breathers. They don't have wings. In fact, dragons are way older than dinosaur dinosaurs. Locals call them aura or land crocodiles. They 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 continue ripping apart the flesh of the deer deer and boy do I feel bad for their for that deer. They're just as ravenous as true crocodile. But Komodo dragons would lose a fight against a saltwater crocodile or a Nile crocodile. It will be death rolled before it knew what hit it. It begin it continues to stuff its face into the deer's entry. Another Komodo dragon looks like it's about to get in. The deer eventually falls over, which I'm pretty sure that shocked the the other Komodo dragon. They begin maiming the deer, and they keep on maiming the deer until the deer is maimed and dies due to blood loss and poison from the dragon's venom. Oh, it's still alive. Well, it's going to die because these hungry lizards are not leaving their prey alone. This Komodo dragon is seen preying on a pregnant deer. It ma It is maiming the deer. The deer seems to already have venom venom transferred into its blood strain. Komodo dragons have a slow bacteria venomous bite or poisonous bite that they use to inject into larger prey, such as goats, water buffalo, animals that Komodo dragons prey upon, or are Komodo dragons prey upon large water buffalo, water buffaloes. It is deceivable. It is unbelievable that Komodo dragons can take on prey at ten times their size. It is unconspeakable, unconspicuous. <laughs> How do you say that word? Unconspicuous. I hope I said that right. I also have an appetite, appetite for animals like water buffaloes, deer. They also eat small birds and rodents. And Komodo dragons have been seen taking down my favorite animal. You guessed it, the horse. Yeah, so Komodo dragons also prey upon my favorite animal, which is horses. They also have been known to eat younger juvenile Komodo dragons because they're cannibals. So horses make... Mm, make up for their diet. Komodo dragons like to eat large ungulates such as buffaloes and deer. They also eat animals like water, wild boars. This video is shocking. The Komodo dragon keeps maiming the pregnant the pregnant mother as she as she is pretty much dying due to blood loss and and poison a poisonous bacteria bite from the dragon. The dragon proceeds to rip apart the flesh of this deer. And I feel like deer are the Komodo dragon's favorite. Or it could be water buffalo. I don't know. When I see an animal preying on an animal more than one time, I guess that's her favorite animal they like to prey upon. It keeps on dragging the flesh of the deer, buckling the deer closer and closer. It, continue, it continues to eat semi-digested food. It continues to rip apart the flesh. Another Komodo is seen in the background walking. I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's going to join in on the meal. The deer is still alive. Still alive. The Komodo dragon continues to keep on maiming the deer, ripping off bits of flesh and chunk. The dragons fight over the food. Fight over the food as like other animals do. The deer remains alive, just looking in the pits of dark doom and death. The Komodo dragon looks around just to make sure no one is filming it, is filming it eating its meal. It continues to rip apart the flesh. It continues to rip apart and shred the flesh of the unlucky deer. And that deer looks like it is having seriously serious injuries. And there are no 
and there are no hospitals in the wild. So this can be fatal for the deer. The deer finally falls over, and I think that's the end of it. Or it could be a lot. The Komodo dragon keeps on digging into the flesh of the unlucky deer. And I'm guessing this Komodo dragon is going to start doing the same thing. thing. And then it pulls out a fetus, a fetus from its mother and drags the fetus closer to the closer to its mouth where it proceeds to eat the infant that was just inside the deer. The deer doesn't of course she doesn't save her infant because she is stunned from the venom and the dragon's bite. The dragon continues maiming the deer and honestly, yeah, they're they are just as vicious as a crocodile as crocodile. Because at least with crocodiles they probably on ungulates too like zebras. But I haven't seen them kill a horse though. But I did see a horse where a horse trampled a tr where a horse trampled a, a alligator. And I guess it was in Florida because Crocodiles and alligators and caiman tend to be in Florida. Well, only alligators. This zebra is losing its flesh as the crocodile sinks it. And let me just say I feel bad for the zebra as much as I feel bad for the deer. And those are ravenous creatures of the wild. Hope you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one.